Top 10 Best Places to Visit in San Francisco The famous quote, the most freezing winter I ever spent was a summer in San Francisco, is surprisingly not from Clemens. Still, it's a reasonably accurate statement of San Francisco's weather. Hey everyone, and this is Sash from Mind Blowing Travels. In this video, we are going to go over the top 10 best places to visit in San Francisco. Number 10. Palace of Fine Arts The only structure existing from the 1915 World's Fair, the Palace of Fine Arts, shows a classical Roman rotunda with curved colonnades located in an idyllic park setting with a classic European-style lagoon. It's an excellent spot to relax, have a picnic, and watch the swans float elegantly. It also features a theatre offering a spread of shows, musical and cultural events. After the fair, nearly all of the buildings at the PPIE, which were never really meant to last forever, were torn down. The exception was the Palace of Fine Arts, which San Francisco citizens felt had been just too beautiful to destroy. According to his design concept, Maybeck intended that the palace fall under ruin, then it did for an extended time. Within the ensuing years, the building was used for a spread of purposes. After World War II, it had been a military storage depot, a warehouse for the parks department, a phone book distribution center, and even temporary local department headquarters. Number 9. San Francisco's Chinatown Established in the 1840s, San Francisco's Chinatown is reputed to be the oldest and one among the essential Chinatowns outside of Asia. Many of the Chinese who decided to settle here were merchants or immigrant workers, performing on either the Transcontinental Railroad or mine workers during the Gold Rush. The tourist section of Chinatown is especially along Grant Avenue, from Bush to Broadway. San Francisco's Chinatown, North America's first and largest, is found next to the North Beach and therefore the financial district, with its pagoda-style architecture, ornate lamp posts, exotic menus, and other distinctive elements, a stop here can feel more sort of a trip abroad than an area stroll. Learn about the community's history at the Chinese Historical Society of America Museum on Clay Street near Portsmouth Square. Visit the Chinese Cultural Center, which is free. See the newest exhibition in their Visual Arts Center or check in for one among their neighborhood walking tours. Number 8. Alamo Square the Alamo Square may be a residential neighborhood and park best known for its famous painted ladies of Victorian houses on its side along the Strainer Street. It's often the topic of the many a San Francisco postcard. There also are many other pretty Victorians encircling the stunning park. The park includes a playground and a court and is frequented by neighbors, tourists and dog owners. On a transparent day, the Trans-America Pyramid Building and the Golden Gate Bridge and Bay Bridges tops are often seen from the park's center. While standing in Alamo Square Park, across from the long-lasting Painted Ladies, famously referred to as Postcard Row, visitors will get to see the incredible views of the San Francisco skyline. It's a historic district that entirely meets the eye, comes along on a journey through time. Number 7. Trans-America Pyramid it is located within the financial district's heart. The Trans-America Pyramid in San Francisco's other famous icon besides the Golden Gate. Consistent with its architect, William L. Pereira, a pyramid is ideal for skyscrapers, offering the advantage of letting more air and light weight within the streets below. Finished in 1972, the Trans-America Pyramid features 260 meters or 853 feet and remains the tallest building within the San Francisco skyline. The Trans-America Pyramid is found in San Francisco's financial district and just a stone's throw far away from San Francisco's historic Chinatown. The looming landmark features a white quartz exterior and quite 3,000 windows. It's also built to face tremors and sustained no damage or injuries during the 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake. At 853 feet, the Trans-America Pyramid is the tallest point in San Francisco, California. Number 6. Lombard Street Located between Hyde and Leavenworth Streets, Lombard Street is famously referred to as the most crooked street within the world. However, it's neither the main crooked street in San Francisco, Vermont Street is, nor the steepest. The one-block portion of Lombard Street that contains eight hairpin turns was created to scale back the hill's natural steep slope. The regulation during this section may be a mere 5 miles per hour or 8 kilometers per hour, Although it's referred to as the crookedest street within the world, Lombard Street isn't even the most crooked street in San Francisco. That title technically belongs to Vermont Street between 20th and 22nd Streets on Portrero Hill. 
The Bring Your Own Big Wheel race, held every Easter Sunday, features people racing on big-wheeled plastic bikes started on Lombard Street before moving to Vermont Street. Number 5. Golden Gate Park Measuring quite 1,000 acres, the Golden Gate Park has stood as a natural beauty logo, quickly earning the title together of the significant visited city parks altogether of America. As San Franciscans noticed the latest New York City Central Park's happenings, residents began to yearn for his or her scenic community dwelling. Today, although similar in shape, Golden Gate Park possesses an array of unique and one-of-a-kind features that sets it aside from other urban settings. During the 1860s, plans were put into motion to rework the awful sand and show dunes that decorated San Francisco into a usable, inviting park for all to enjoy. In 1870, a field engineer named William Hammond Hill organized a survey and developed a topographic map that might function as the new park site's blueprint. Number 4. Cable Cars the world well-known cable cars runs on three lines in the treacherous roads of San Francisco between Market Street and Fisherman's Wharf. These vehicles are a great ride, mainly if you remain on the running board. If somewhat unreasonable for everyday use, however, inhabitants do, should be told, use them consistently. The streetcar is such a fascination that, particularly at the end of the week, it takes more time to stand by in line to ride up Powell Street than it does to travel the short yet inclining distance. The California Street Cable Car Line utilizes 12 bigger maroon street cars, which have an open seating area at each end and a shot segment in the center. These vehicles can be worked from one or the flip side and pivot by methods for a necessary switch towards the stopping point. The two Powell Street Lines, Powell Hyatt and Powell Mason, utilize more modest street cars, operable from just one end and along these lines except turntables to switch bearing at the stopping points. There are 28 Pavel vehicles kept on the list at some random time. A few noteworthy are recovering the appearance of the cars at different focuses on the 12-decade history of the administration. Number 3. Alcatraz Regularly alluded to as The Rock, the little island of Alcatraz filled in as a beacon, a military stronghold and as a jail. It was home to probably the most infamous hoodlums of the time, including Al Capone and Machine Gun Kelly. Surrounded by the freezing water of San Francisco Bay, Alcatraz was accepted to be inevitable to travel to. The most celebrated endeavor was completed by Frank Morris and siblings, John and Clarence Anglin, utilizing an inflatable pontoon produced using a few taken waterproof shells. Today the island is a well-known San Francisco vacation spot and a noteworthy site. It is worked by the National Park Service and is available for visits. Number 2. Fisherman's Wharf Perhaps the most well-known vacation spots in San Francisco and even the US, Fisherman's Wharf runs right from Pier 39 through to Municipal Pier towards the finish of Aquatic Park. For longer than a century, its unique waterfront was the center point of San Francisco's fishing armada. As yet well known for having the absolute best fish eateries in the city, other vacation destinations at the wharf incorporate galleries, gift stores, recorded structures, grand vistas over the bay, and the well-known ocean lions at Pier 39. Perhaps the most visited neighborhoods in the city, San Francisco's Fisherman's Wharf, has procured its prevalence on account of one thing more than some other. A comprehensive exhibit of eateries directly on the water, presenting straight from the sea fish. Also, indeed, there genuinely are anglers there. Swaying at the harbors are a small bunch of endured boats. They actually chug out to get Dungeness crabs, scallops, halbut, and other fish in and around the narrows, as they have for longer than a century. Number 1. Golden Gate Bridge The Golden Gate Bridge is an engineered overpass traversing the Golden Gate, the waterway between San Francisco and Marin County towards the north. The extension required four years to assemble and was finished in 1937. The Golden Gate Bridge was the longest engineered overpass length on the planet when it was finished and has become a universally perceived image of San Francisco and California. The celebrated red-orange shade of the scaffold was explicitly picked to make the extension all the more effectively obvious through the thick haze that much of the time covers the scaffold. With towers taking off 746 feet or 227 meters into the sky, its range arcing across the mouth of San Francisco Bay, and every last bit of it painted brilliant red-orange, the Golden Gate Bridge is basically stunning. 
It's really simple and allowed to stroll across the scaffold itself or to investigate the Golden Gate Bridge Welcome Center, which offers beautiful gander at the extension set of experiences, just as the first 12-foot tempered steel test tower utilized in 1933. With that being said, here we come to the end of our video. I hope you liked this video. If so, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you never miss any video. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Thanks for watching.